What's up everyone, it's Senor Graffa, and we are back with another box opening. Actually, we're gonna do two this time of Dimension Force. I'm super excited for this, it's the next core set in the game. Um, I just kinda, just kinda wanna get, you know, just see what we can pull. I heard there has been some kinda misprints going on with the set, or not misprints, or I don't know what it is, like mispackaging, where some people have been getting like four starlight rares per case so i hope that's the case here and we can pull one of them but we'll just go ahead and get started and see what we can get um uh going huh i don't know what all this junk is but just going through the commons and our first silver sylvan dense peony oh wow that's such a nice card dogmatica sweet burn the loss nice scareclaw that's the new archetype here isn't it um, I'm looking for the Dynamorphia stuff. I have Dynamorphia myself, although I don't, uh, I actually haven't been able to play it. Um, but I am excited to just kind of get some stuff. Next super, Chao Sai, the Ghost Stopper. And we're just kind of going to go through. Uh, I'm not really going to care for the comments. Um, really only looking for those hollows. Um, I also want that new secret rare uh, synchro monster what is it the um psychic and tuner if i'm saying that right immortal dragon that guy looks pretty dope just keep going war rock ryan and our first ultra no punk deer note cool have you seen the I should have just built no punk at this point because if you've seen my uh, other videos with like the grand creators i pulled so many no punks um a few collectors there scareclaw arrival next super um actually i don't know how starlight rares work i don't ever replace a common or they replace the foil maybe i should just kind of like scroll through it a little is that super yeah heroic champion oh nice i don't know we had another heroic champion that looks pretty cool level uh rank four two level four warriors your opponent cannot target monsters for attack slip this one you can you can only use each of the following effects of hero champion clave solish clave solish once per turn you can pay life points so that you have 500 left the start of the battle phase, double the attack of one monster you control. When the attack is declared involving one of your opponent monsters. Oh, that's pretty cool for like a warrior based deck. I wonder if like uh, heroes will run it, but I know there's also so many hero cards. And our first secret rare, Alba Linatus, the Abyss Dragon, Fallen of Albas, excuse me, um, secret there. That's cool. That, that, that card looks super sick. I have three sealed structured decks and a bunch of uh, and a bunch of the supers that came in other sets for Fallen of Albas. But I kind of just got the structured decks just to see if, uh, or just to get the the Lost Art promotion at an OTS. Um, and they just kind of just been sitting here. I have them actually just right next to me. Um, but I've been debating whether or not to build it just because I have the cards to do so. But uh, I also just, just kind of have like no appeal to that archetype. I hope that doesn't piss anyone off. Um, oh, that's packed. But yeah, uh, I can build it, I guess, if I wanted to. The weather forecast, cool. I actually really like how the secret looks. It, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks kind of like the older secrets where the purple is really dark. And it's like a subtle secret rare, especially in the name. Um... I know the newer secrets tend to be a little bit more fancy. Uh, I don't mind the subtleness. Oh, and our next Ultra Rare, Exit Sisters, Magnifica. Nice. Another deck I can build. I actually still have 99% of the core from Grand Creators with Mag Exit Sisters and then that um, Collectors where I pulled in one of my um, videos. Nice. Navy Dragon Mech. That's another kind of staple, right? That we can keep. Yeah. And we're just gonna go for it. Oh, did I skip? Oh, Performer Pal, Gentrude. Our next super rare. I feel like the foil is kind of 
um, subtle in this set. I feel like I'm skipping over the super rares really easily because they kind of look like commons. Not that that's a bad thing. It's kind of a cool subtleness to it. Branded Banishment. Cool. See, there you go. I'm getting all the branded stuff. Maybe that's like my calling to build branded, a branded deck. I don't know. Zombie Reborn. Nice. Oh, I do want to see that uh, new Red Eyes card in person. I mean, it's a zombie card, but what was that ghost from the past? I don't know. I'm tripping. Libromancer Displaced. Okay, cool. Next Ultra Rare. I think that's all of our Ultra Rares there. I wonder if Libromancers are competitive at all, or at least some sort of tier 3. Or Oh, I like the Wing Dragon. Cool. Some sort of like tier 3 or 2 with them. I know people were excited about this set for them. Honestly, I haven't followed the meta too often. I just kind of see cards that I like. And... and uh, built archetype around them like Dynamorphia is just Power Rangers and that to me is pretty awesome so that's why I wanted to build it we're just gonna keep going keep going and our next secret Illegal Knight again I really like that subtleness that's kind of happening with these secret rares um, I don't really know much about Illegal Knight actually let's read it during your main phase if you control a monster to control an adventure token oh it's an adventure card okay you can special summon this card from your hand. If you control an adventure token, quick effect, you can target up to two cards your opponent controls. You can control this card to your opponent, and if you do, return that card to the hand. Now you can use the effect of Legal Knight once per turn. So it's a harder once per turn. It benefits the adventure token deck. I don't know how, how good that's going to be for the deck, to be honest, or for the engine, excuse me. Um, but I know... What's a secret rare? So, I don't know, maybe Konami saw some value in it. <laughs> to sell more sets, make it secret, harder to attain. Scareclaw, Vivitel, Battlegar, Libermans, or Bonded Set Super? Yeah. Again, like a very kind of, you can't tell unless you're really staring at it. Just flying through these. The Weather Painter Moonbow. Cool. That's such a nice looking card. Wow. Look at that. I wasn't around when weather painters were being used. Um, I'm glad they got support. I know there's a lot of fans out there. I also kind of like how this beam looks like it's going into the, into the arrow. Scary Claw Sclash. Next super. And our last pack. I think uh, this is... I don't think this can be anything else. Might be another secret, might be another ultra, but it's likely a super rare here that we're gonna get. And yep, performer power, Lady Lady Ange. Okay, cool. So that was our first box. Let me just put all the commons out here. Kind of clean up this mess of supers, the ultras. Um, a little sad I didn't get any Dynamorphia stuff, but that's what the second box is for. Another 24 packs to open. Let's keep feeding my addiction. Uh, trash to go over there. I'm uh, gonna put the supers up here. That's still kind of in frame. And we'll start on the right side this time. So ultras here. I guess I can kind of lay them out a little bit. Whoop. Okay. Libromancer realized. Okay, nice. First super. It's kind of a cool story. It kind of looks like uh, this guy's alter ego. Is this dude in the video game, but he kind of comes out in the real world, at least in the Libromancer world. Libromancer Misty Girl. It's a cool card. Cool looking. This pack, actually, the, the super is a little bit more obvious that they're super... Super rares. Branded Banishment again. Get in. Um, let's see if we can get a set of that. I mean, I don't really care if we do or not. But someone out there will. Motor Frenzy. Oh, 
All right, let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Oh, look at that. What the heck is that? Mad Mauler. That's creepy. Liebermancer Fireburst. Our next ultra rare. That's such a cool looking card. Wow. That looks like it's the main character. Maybe like some sort of fusion. Liebermancer Prevented. Man, is this like the universe telling me to build Liebermancer too? I have a bunch of the cards from the previous set too, but I also have no appeal to build them. Oh, that's the dragon. Cool. Heroic Envoy for the Heroic Champion. Oop. Archetype. Or I guess Heroic Archetype. Pray to plant. What? It's going, going, going. Therion, blah, blah, blah. Another Illegal Knight. Okay. Now we got two Illegal Knights. You would think they wouldn't be so common if they're illegal. Um, I'm going to have to look up the strategy on those and really uh, how they're used. Another Sylvian Dance of Peony. Sylvan, excuse me, not Sylvian. But you can kind of tell the difference on the on the rarity. So this one looks a little brighter. This one's a little, oh no, yeah, yeah. This one's the one I just pulled, looks a little brighter. It's a little bit more obvious as a secret rare. I'm assuming these came from the same case because I pre ordered them together. Chow Sai, the Ghost Stopper. Throw the supers. Yep. Oh, you go here. Let's see. Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. That looks cool. One zombie tuner. Nice. Zombie support. Let's see, if we're following the same pattern, I still got two ultras to go, so I can still hopefully pull a Frenzy and a uh, Rex Terum. Rex, Rex Terum, yeah, I think that's the name. Um, for Dynamorphia, maybe one more secret. Therion Charge. I don't know much about Therion. I know some people are looking forward to it. Zombie Reborn again. Monster Reborn for zombies. Warrock. Uh, Odd Eyes Wing Dragon again. Okay. I mean, for supers, you don't really care if you pull duplicates. Therion. And Endless Engine Argyro System. Another. Oh, this is a Therion card. Okay. I don't really know much about them either. Hoping it's good. Something I can trade towards the Dynamorphia cards that I need. You guys should see the pile I have right next to this. Extra Pendulum. It's just a mess. Ice Shade Curse. And we got another... Chang-Shi, chang -Shi. the Spiridao, Spiridao, it's a cool looking card, the zombie support card, okay, that makes sense as to why they printed zombie stuff, and Libromancer Fire, the other secret rare, okay, so that's our two secret rares, a lot of Libromancer stuff in this display, but I'm really liking the new, or at least what they're doing with the secrets for this set. Am I messing up these cards? I think they might be miscut. Libermancer Bonded. The ritual spell for them from this set. I doubt I'm going to pull another secret. I have this pack that I just opened up to go. And then uh, three more. Maybe one more Ultra. We'll see. Scareclaw Sclash. If I can pull another secret. Sweet. It's happened. Uh, three secrets in one. Dynamorphia Frenzy, sweet, nice. That's one of the ones that I wanted to get. Definitely would have been cheaper for me to buy them separately, but hey, then what, you know, what's the fun in that? 
likely these are just two supers. Performer Pal Lady Ange. Lady Ange. Angie. I mean, it looks like Angel, right? And last one. We got the Curse of Dragon, the Magical Knight Dragon. So that's the actual Curse of Dragon. It looks like it's fused with, with the water. So what is that? Oh, yeah, it's Gaia. Duh. Um, cool. All right. So quick little recap. I don't know if you care about the supers, so we'll just kind of skip those. But for our secrets, we got two Illegal Knights um, and an Alba Linatus, the Linatus. Uh, the Abyss Dragon and a Libromancer Fire. Um, these two came together and these two came together in one box. Um, and then for the Ultras, from box two, we got the Frenzy, the Endless Engine and Argyro System, the Therion card, Skeletal Dragon, Felgrand, Zombie Support, and Libromancer Fire Burst. And then this uh, first box, we got the Weather Painter, Libromancer Displays, Exorcist Magnifica, and No Punk Deer Note. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, this was a fun video. Um, I always like opening up new core sets. Again, if you like my content, uh, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to from Dimension Force. Let me know what you think of the ban list. I saw a bunch of stuff that uh, got unbanned like Yada and Change Your Heart. That's cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm actually looking to see what I can do with Salamangrate now that the circle has been unlimited. But let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think about the set of Dimension Force, what you're looking forward to. Again, uh, like my video, subscribe to my content so you can see more. Uh, feel free to turn on those notifications so that you can know when I upload it. I tend to do a video when a new set comes out. But, yeah, thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. This has been Senor Graffa.